How's it going everybody? This is Be The Bush. Last time I plastered solar panels all over my car trying to charge it with solar panels. Turns out Sono Motors makes a car like this and I'm here in Alameda to check out their car today. I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Sono Motors. They invited me to come to this thing. You want to go in inside the car first? Sure. So here we are in the Sion. We're going to take a look at the solar generation power right now. So how did you get in Go there? to solar right. here or to solar, solar there? Solar. I see we produce 320 watts. Yeah. And click on and the And now you see where it's coming from. 155 watts on the top, 32 in the front trunk and 32 in the back just got open so then it's gonna get a little bit more so maybe when you are parked and you want a lot of solar what would you do like would you like open up the the doors and the, and the back to, to get more you never have perfect sun on all panels at once yeah so what's That's like... what's the typical like the highest you've seen nearly 6,000 miles of annual range are calculated at average california weather i do think there will hit 600 watts or more so half of that max number that's why going all around the car having 360 degrees uh, of solar cells is so important for an average yield that's best this here is the power sharing somebody comes and plugs in that i authorize at 85 or 90 or 100 percent it will discharge only to 75 percent or if i need to drive home and, and need at least 15 percent uh, it will start already now discharging, but always in next weeks will recharge, recharge, and you can continue to give power away as long as your battery doesn't go below 15%. Give power away to who? Is this through the app? You can actually share three things. One is car sharing, and we just insure it for you the moment you give it away. The next one is car pooling. When you drive, you will be allowed to take people with you. And the third one is power sharing. This mm -hmm. is where, you, again, you can determine I give it to the public if somebody wants to have access or I give it to somebody um, that's only family, friends, neighborhood. And the owner of the car actually themselves determine the cost for the person who rents the vehicle or who takes the power. Air goes through Air goes right through here, but um, we have a fully capable a small particle dust. Wait, wait, hold up. Well. Air goes through this green stuff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, cool. It's like it's embedded in resin almost. These are many layers of polymer mm -hmm. uh, foil mm -hmm. that are isolating it from the injection molding process and from the pressures on the outside. And then the very last top cover is, is like a matte finish that you can see all over. So when you touch this here, you, there's no, it's all 100% uh, even surface. It has the dimension of a Volkswagen ID3 or a Lisa yeah. Leaf with length and width. But the height is significantly higher, so I would call this a family van or a family hatch. The price is 25,000 euros or $25,000. Difference between this car and a normal compact car is the huge interior space. You got some extra space down here. And then we can fold down the seats. Is this completely flat? Yes. It totally... Let me take a look. Completely flat. Totally folds falls flat so you can really sleep in here if you want that would be 110 volt in the US this is a 220 European uh -huh. that gives you 3.7 kilowatt here you can do level 1 and level 2 charging if you want to fast charge this is the regular mm -hmm. uh, CCS 75 kilowatt fast charging for the car that's the this... Scion MCU and one of 3,000 yeah. samples we did yeah. for developing our patented panel solution and that patent is actually integrating these solar waivers nearly seamlessly it, into a polymer outer snow glass the back mm -hmm. part here is injection molded we use them to try to simulate a maximum bend for producing a designed car the back contact copper sheet is there so you don't have these typical silver or whitish power connectors to the solar cell to get actually the power away from the solar cell. So you're talking about the lighter lines here. But if you want to integrate something seamlessly into a mm -hmm. vehicle, I want to make it part of the outer skin, then of course our preference was to have a back contact. That's why we have the copper here. So if you should have a medium heavy crash where the polymer would jump back again and wouldn't be broken, 
uh, the solar cell could be broken or splintered or something uh -huh. because it's a very fragile thing, uh -huh. it still continues to produce energy. One of the panel cracks, then what happens at a repair store? That's the worst case. Yes, yes. The polymer cracks and the panel. Then you actually have to replace the complete module. Yeah. You would not buy a new steel fender and uh, put base code on it and the final car code. You would actually buy this complete piece and install it. The cost for this is a little bit more than a regular aluminum or steel part mm -hmm. to the outside. Mm -hmm. That's but good if you to know. consider painting it and the labor to paint it and putting on a car, it could actually be even a little bit cheaper. We have this maximum power point tracker. And then from here, get the high power. We have overall eight channels that go in here. And the high power goes over our onboard charger into the battery. How does it compare to crumpling and yeah. crash crash testing yes. and all that? So we have an aluminum body. Yeah, there's structure. a aluminum frame, yeah. yeah. The function of an outer skin is not that relevant for crash. This is molding color. We don't have to go through a paint shop. Yeah. So we save a lot of investment. Mm -hmm. And the tools to make injection molding are not cheap, but they are much cheaper than tools to make a stamping process to make big steel or aluminum parts. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're going for a solar, at least for me, I'm like, okay, I want, if I want that, I don't care what, I, what it's gonna look like. I just yeah, want, it has to be efficient. Well, I want the panels there and, and it's gonna look whatever it's gonna look like. I appreciate it. Over 20,000 people who made an average down payment of over 2,000 euros for this. They chose to down payment more than the minimum. Uh, yes, okay. 500 yeah. is the minimum. They chose 2,000. So if you want me at any time, take you through the car. Yeah, go. the back of the panel, or like if you look at it from the side, we take a look at the top. There's one piece of the panel here, and then got the center piece, the back piece over there. Sound check on the door. Sound, ah, sounds pretty solid. The chairs have this honeycomb pattern. Those are um, mandatory emergency buttons um, in a prototype. So right, um, down here. Yeah, don't 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 press don't press them. Oh, it's like, sorry, <laughs> I in wasn't. In case something happens, we can shut down the system. So let's see. Okay. Um, how we go? In Germany, we already um, took some rounds on the German autobahn, for example. So um, we are in on-street live testing. It's a smooth ride. Like it's no crazy sports car setup, but setup was similar. Like it's really an easy setup. Um, which we picked for this car, like smooth ride. Yeah. Riding on the power of the sun. See, that was pretty fun, wasn't it? Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.